Hi, Social Branders. Bill Pitcher here for the Social Branding Network with three steps to building your social brand. A lot of people during the U.S. presidential elections uh, said that they would love to be able to have the so social media success that the Obama team did. And uh, I, my response to that is, in addition to being very clever about it, like they were, you need two things. One is their 24-7 news and advertising coverage. Uh, and two is uh, an issue that uh, millions of people felt uh, absolutely passionate about and wanted to do something uh, for. Assuming that you don't have those two things in the quantities that they did, how can you go about building your social brand? Well, uh, there are three steps that I believe that uh, you need to follow to be successful with that. The first of those three is that you need to go to where your audience is. It's not enough to create a great website or a great blog uh, or, or other great content that's on a location of yours and just expect that people are going to find it and flock to it. You need to reach out um, to the many places that people congregate online. Uh, the major uh, places that people do this are sites like Facebook and Twitter, um, LinkedIn, uh, at YouTube. Uh, it depends um, in part on, on who your audience is, but one of the things that you probably need to be doing is to have actually a multi-platform strategy, which also means you need to be thinking about less obvious sites like Flickr, Foursquare, Empire Avenue, Get Satisfaction, and others. Uh, your goal is to reach as broad a group as possible in the places that they already are, as opposed to having to change somebody's behavior right from the beginning. Once you have established yourself on uh, with a presence on those various platforms, then you can begin to think about building rapport, which is step two. In building rapport, where you want to start is simply by having a conversation with people. This is not the time to come with the hard sales pitch. Uh, think of social media like being uh, in a social setting face to face, like in a cocktail party. You know, you wouldn't go uh, at a cocktail party, hi, my name is Bill and I want to sell you a car. Um, you would talk about that you're in the car business and what advantages your cars have and what your approach is to things. and you would try to be engaging and interesting and, and social and it wouldn't all be about uh, business and they might ask you a question about uh, something, an issue that they have with their car and you'd try to be helpful, you know, again you're in a social setting. You want to do the same thing with social media. Be helpful um, and uh, be engaging, be personal, talk about things that have nothing to do with uh, what your professional objectives are with building a social brand. Um, but have a professional story that you want to tell and uh, know what that is and know what the value is to the to your audience and and share that you know the that value that's very important in journalism they call that answering the question why should I care and I'm a great believer that uh, you always have to think about that when you have established rapport you'll be ready for the third step which is to um, issue a call to action, but a call to action that provides value to your audience. Again, uh, if you were at the cocktail party, you'd want to be careful about doing too hard of a sell. In a social media setting, you know, people on Facebook and the like are not there for the hard sales pitch. They're there because they want to talk to their friends and, and follow things that, that they're passionate about. So when you um, want to encourage your audience to do something, you need to provide value back to them in that social setting. Uh, a couple different ways you can do that. You can provide them with informational value. So if you're uh, an individual looking to promote yourself, maybe you've written a great article about something and you're saying check it out. If you're a business, you might be doing something that has promotional value, um, a discount, that sort of thing. So you might say, uh, today, uh, for our loyal uh, Twitter followers, we're offering 20% off on, on our product. Um, but uh, regardless of the, the, um, the offer and the call to action, keep in mind that you offer value. So to recap, go where your audience is, build rapport, and offer value in your call to action. 
If you do those three things, you'll be well on your way to building your social brand. Well, that's it. And until next time, happy social brand building.